天のお父様心から感謝します神様本当にあなたの愛を感謝しますイエス様私たちがどんな状況にある時も神様あなたが私たちを愛してくださって私たちが自分のことを恥と思ったりかっこ悪いと思ったり何もできないと思ったりダメだと思ったり劣等感に悩まされる時にも神様あなたは変わらずに愛を差し伸べてくださることを感謝しますまた私たちがまだ罪人であった時に神様あなたはその愛を示してくださってイエス様本当にその眺めの備え物としての御事を本当になってあなたが死んでくださったことを心から感謝しますあなたの犠牲を本当に大きな愛を心から感謝します人がその友のために命を捨てるそれこれより大きな愛はないと聖書に書いてありますけれどもその愛を示してくださったイエス様に私たちは今日本当にイエス様出会えたことをただただ感謝しますイエス様どうぞ本当に私たちのうちに私たちが賛美をするときにさらに神様あなたの愛を示してくださいよりも
の十四日いやー楽しみはね今日バレンタインでたくさんのチョコレートもらえるかなというふうに思って今日はせっかくなんで六時からのチケットスターウォーズのチケットを買ってきたんだけど誰かチョコレートくれる人と一緒に行こうかなと思ってるんだけど誰かくれないかなちょっと大学の中さ歩きながらちょっとくれそうな人をちょっと探してみようかな原先輩おまみちゃん来た来た来た来た来たこんにちは先輩今日バレンタインですねそうですバレンタインです、ね、といえばそう早速ですけど入ってこおまみちゃんありがとういいわめっちゃでっかいチョコレート<笑>美味しそうやね<笑>わあミックス<笑>ありがとう、うん、ところでまみちゃん、はい、今夜6時から「スター・ウォーズ」見に行くんやけど一緒行かへんあ先輩なんか勘違いされてません勘違いこれギリチョコですよ<笑>ギリチョコあ私他に好きな人いるし、はあ、でもいつも先輩にはお世話になってるし<笑>先輩ってあの誰からももらえないんじゃないかなと思って<笑>あのゼミの女の子3人からですあわれみチョコですあわれみチョコ<笑>ってますますなんか寂しくなるな<笑>ここでこの2枚のチケットどうしよう<笑>やばいなでもとりあえず人生虚しいけどもしょうがないもうちょっとキャンパス探しながら誰かくれる人本命チョコ探しに行こうかな変なおっさんた<笑>私のいい人連れてこいあのやんでますけどあのやんでるほとんどかーいえ<笑>どこでどなたですか天使ですけどは何かなんか大阪のおっちゃんじゃないですかここは大阪やろおっさん天使もおるにゃーおっさん天使ってまあチョコレートやないかお前はいチョコレートもらったんですよバレンタインでもおたいねそうそうそうそうそうバレンタインのチョコほうほうほうでどっちやねんこれは本命と思ったんだけどもギリでしたわあのなお前どう見てもスーパーの男におらないこんなの本命で渡せとおるかいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやそしてまあボランティアとかもして一生懸命頑張ったんだけどもこれだけ本当の愛って何ですか本物の愛本物の愛ああまあまあまあ人間の愛っちゅうもんはなまあええー、時もあるけどもまあなちょっとしたことで喧嘩したり誤解したいなもうややこしいでしゃあないねんで時にはな自分の力でふっ戦わなあかん時もあるねん愛は勝ち取るんですかしんどいんやしんどいな<笑>やっさんみたいだけどな,ないなあしんどいわ止まらない知りたいんか知りたいです安心してくださいありますよ私も履いてますいや違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違う違うわしは教えるえ<笑>ケチですねわからんかったら聞けこれは人間の基本やろ教えてくれるんちゃいますアルプスも少女ハイジもいつも言うとるやからえそれは家庭教師の都内でしょ<笑>そうそうそう大そうから始まって手で終わるんや大から始まっててあああれあれや皆さんもよかったらご一緒にわかりますね<笑>はい、はい、行きますよ<笑>はいわかったはいほな行くでーせーの教えてー<笑> Thank you for that wonderful skit. Yes, what is skit? I got to say, Master. Part of it I didn't understand. But anyway, I'll learn more about the、uh, Osaka angel or whatever. <laughs> but there's no doubt that、uh, people's loves is not perfect. ね、And we can be really confused about love.、Uh, we have di、uh, cultural differences too that make it, makes it confusing. And then we have male and female differences. And you mix it all up and it can be really confusing. 
But、uh, definitely, some people need to know more about love. まあ、だけどある人はある人は愛についてもっと知る必要があります。And know more how to show love. そしてどうやって愛を表すのかを知る必要があります。Actually, all of us need to know more about love, really. 実際に私たちはみんな愛についてどうやって,どうやってその愛を表すのかについて学ばないといけないんです。So, yes, we're all included and we're all growing in love.、Yeah? 私たちみんなが対象で、そして今、愛について、成長、愛について成長していかないといけないんですね。But we are happy to see all of you here today for this Valentine's service. As was mentioned,、uh, actually,、uh, Eric mentioned it earlier <laughs> that、uh, usually in American culture and other certain cultures, the guys give to the、uh, girls at this time. ね、And here in Japan, it's opposite. And you have White Day, which Americans don't know what is. it is.、ね、But、uh, we're an international fellowship here today. So we can just focus on loving one another here today. As far as、uh, Valentine's Day itself, このバレンタインという日なんですけど、uh, many people don't really know about its Christian origins. このキリスト教との関わりを知っている人はあまりいないと思います。Uh, maybe you know that there really was a man called Valentine at one time. あのバレンタインという人はいたんですよ、昔。And、uh, he was、uh, actually a Catholic priest in Italy. はい、イタリア人のカトリックの神父でした。And so we call him Saint Valentine, or the Catholics call him Saint Valentine. And he ministered in about the year AD 270. And at the same time, there was an emperor by the name of Claudius. And at that time,、uh, he persecuted、uh, Christians at that time. And according to the story, this、uh, Valentine actually tried to convert people to Christianity. And he's also famous for secretly marrying couples. The emperor. Uh, basically, prohibited young soldiers from marrying. And the reason he did that is he figured that unmarried men would fight better than married men. The idea was that if you're married, you might be worried about your family. So,、uh, Valentine went against what the emperor told him to do. And so he was imprisoned and he was tortured. And、uh, in the year.、Uh, 2000, no, sorry, 269, he was martyred, he was killed. Now, there's no doubt that、uh, Valentine was trying to show people love. And he ended up suffering for it. And this story also tells the story of a man who、uh, loved God, obviously. A Valentine did what he felt was right to do. And、uh, he ended up、uh, having the consequences of that. Now we think about true love. We need to realize that in our own strength, that we cannot really love people. That's because only God's love is perfect love. First for today, let's、uh, read the scripture verse in 1 John chapter 4.、Uh, chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. 
Let's read in Japanese first. Let's uh, read in English together. Ready? Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. So, here in verse 7, it clearly says that if we truly love others, it's only because we know God. So, we really need to be spiritually born again to experience this love. And then in verse 8, it has a famous verse, God is love. And so that we need God because God is love. What does this mean? Well, the thing is, is everything about God expresses love. And God does everything also because of love. And there's many more aspects of this that we can throw in there. But uh, I just want to say here that every word in the Bible is very important. For example, if I gave you the word God, and I gave you the word love, you don't know what that means. But if you put the is in between, <laughs> then it has meaning, right? So God is love. So my point again, every word is important. And now right now we're gonna do a little exercise. Uh, and we're going to focus on how important every word, every letter is. Does everybody have a pen and a bulletin? If you don't have a pen or you don't have a bulletin, please raise your hand. Yes, in your bulletin you should have this uh, square diagram with all the letters in there. And uh, in just a little bit, you're going to find a sentence. A sentence is written in here. And you're going to, we're going to show it on the screen in just a little bit. But I want you to circle every letter that's in the sentence. <coughs> and once you've got the whole sentence and circled every letter, <laughs> and if you finish it, I want the, you to come forward. I've got a present for uh, two people that come up first. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> okay, could you have this sentence please? Go! Ready, go! Japanese, of course, only Japanese. So circle every letter. Circle I, circle no. あ、読まれてる。
で終わったら前に出てきてください。You have to come forward. <laughs> Who's going to come forward? I have to check. I'm check, checking it. Okay, yes,、yeah, so、we got it. Okay, we have two winners. One is Goody. The first two. And there you go. Congratulations. So you see, if,、uh, did everybody see the answer? You should,、uh, it should make a form of a heart, right? It, the, it should be like a heart. Maybe you can work on it a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. But I think we'll continue on. So basically, the square, you should have a heart going from the bottom and like that to complete that sentence. You got it? Little by little? <laughs> okay. Well, keep working on that. <laughs> But again, every, every word, is, every letter is important for the meaning of it. And of course, the main thing again here is that whoever does not love does not know God. Okay, and again, this is,、uh, if there's a problem with our love, it's because we don't have God in our lives. Or, or we're growing in some area in, in our lives, too. Okay, so again, as I mentioned, even last week, love is really one of the most important topics that we have in the Bible. When it comes down to it, love is the focus of both the Old and the New Testament. And、uh, let's see what Jesus had to say about it、uh, in a different passage here.、Yeah. Let's look at Matthew chapter 22. <laughs> And yes,、uh, verses 37 through 39. Let's read that. So, yes, I'm going to read that. 心を尽くし、思いを尽くし、知力を尽くして、あなたの神である主を愛せよ。これが大切な第一の戒めです。あなたの隣人をあなた自身のように愛せよ。という第二の戒めも、それと同じように大切です。Let's read it in English. Ready? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. So Jesus here is quoting、uh, God's command that was given at the time of Moses. Now, as you can see, this is the first and most important command to love God. And we're supposed to love God with all of our heart. All of our soul and all of our mind. Basically, this means that we're supposed to 
uh, know that God is our first love. So last week I talked about first love. だからこれ私たちが神様が初めの愛である必要を意味しています。いや初めの愛が神様初めの愛が神様である必要を意味しています。そして先週私はあの初めの愛についてちょっと話しました。And so, verse 39 here, we can see that、uh, there is a second most important thing to do. That is, that、uh, we are commanded to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And, and so, point number one for today is the second love of our lives. Should be our neighbor. So, yes, God is our first love. And for the usage of this,、uh, for the way I'm sharing this today,、uh, our neighbor is our second love. So, definitely, this is a priority and it's important to our living as God wants us to live. Now, the question is, is who is our neighbor? Is our neighbor the person who lives next door? In the next apartment? Or the house? Close by.、Uh, it could be.、まあねうん um, it could be somebody that's next to us. In other words, people we hang around with.、Uh, actually, it's even bigger, of course, than that.、まあ、Basically, we're supposed to be loving everyone. You know, Jesus actually at one point told us to love our enemies. Now, our enemies may be a long ways away.、Uh, they may not even be close to us. But either way, we need to have God's unconditional love. On the other hand, we might need to deal with people that we have difficulty with,、uh, even close by. Actually, sometimes it's easier to love people who are far away. <laughs> sometimes it's harder to love those that are closer by. You know, because、uh, there are people in our lives that we spend a lot of time with. And、uh, because of that, we may have lots of misunderstandings. There's a possibility of having more、uh, conflict. So, in all of our relationships, of course, we need this love. Now, if we can't show and if we can't receive love, we, can, we should probably figure out why that is. <laughs> But if we have difficulty loving someone, we need to realize it's a heart issue. Sometimes our logic or our heads.、Uh, Say that we should not be loving somebody. We may think, how can that person be loved? They did something so terrible. How can I love someone? They hurt me. They don't deserve to be forgiven. Well, part of the answer to that problem. We can see in this next passage, 1 John 4, verses 19 19-20. 1 John 4, verses 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 19-20. 1 John 
神を愛すると言いながら兄弟を憎んでいるならその人は偽り者です目に見える兄弟を愛していない者に目に見えない神を愛することはできません神を愛する者は兄弟をも愛すべきです私たちはこの命令をキリストから受けています Let's read in English, ready? We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he has given us this command anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. As you can see,、uh, we love because he first loved us. 私たちはその神が愛してくださったから愛するのです。As this, as see, on, uh, あの分かるようにあの、修法のため、一番最初のページにこの聖書箇所が書いていますね。So the key to loving is not us. あの愛するっていうことです。愛するための鍵は自分自身じゃないのです。The key to loving is,、uh, The, is basically Jesus Christ. <coughs> And so in this verse, it actually kind of says, Oh God, I love you. <coughs> Or let's say in our lives, it's easy to say, God, I love you. <coughs> But God sees our heart. <coughs> And、uh, Jesus said that if we love him, we will keep his commandments. <laughs> And、uh, we just learned that loving those around us is part of God's desire. Here's the second point for today. That is, the amount of love that we have for people. Is a measure of our love for God. God enjoys our love. Yes, when we show Him love, He loves that. And God loves it when we express love to Him, for example, when we sing like we did today. At the same time, God,、uh, if you think about it, is checking how much love we have for people, too, at the same time. Does this seem a little strict? <laughs> <laughs> It is a little strict. <laughs> But of course, God is holding us as Christians to,、uh, and believers to a higher standard. <laughs> you know, Jesus in another situation actually said this. <laughs> He says, if,、uh, if we help people in need, Uh, we're actually helping him.、Uh, if we help someone who is hungry, if we help the poor, if we help prisoners, in other words, if we help people who have done bad things, it's as if we are doing it to Jesus himself. Now, with our physical minds, this is difficult to really totally grasp. But the thing is, is Jesus takes all of this personally. I'll say it again Jesus takes this all personally. This love, loving one another, he takes it all personally. So Jesus is saying, if you really love me, then do what I told you to do. And I told you to love. 
Not only that, Jesus came to this earth to be an example for us in this whole idea of love. And continuing in this、uh, scripture, 1 John chapter 4, let's take a look at verses 9 and 10. This is how God showed His love among us. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live through Him. This is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Yes, Father God gave up His only Son. Father God gave His only Son, beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Are we、uh, worthy to have this amazing gift given to us? I don't think so. I know so. But anyway, the Son of God came to this earth for us who are really unloving people. We're really unworthy of receiving what God gave us. But God still loved us. So、much. And He still loves us. And again, here the point is that we didn't love God, but He first loved us. And then Jesus Himself came to this earth for us. That's an amazing thing. Jesus gave up His own desires for us. Point three for today. Jesus showed us what selfless love looks like and he empowers us to live the same way. So, yes, we need this selfless love. And again, Jesus. Showed us this selfless love when he came to die for our sins. <coughs> Would we ever do anything like that? If we really think about it,、uh, just imagine if you, for whatever reason, became angry and killed somebody. In Japan, you have the death penalty here. Now, so, right? so, the death penalty, you deserve to die. Now, I can't imagine any of you being murderers. But let's just imagine you were. And you're waiting to be executed. And then, as you're just about ready to be executed, someone comes in and says, No, stop. I will take your punishment for you. I'll take the death penalty in your place. Now, you would think that person is probably very crazy, right? But that's exactly what the kind of crazy love that Jesus had for us. 
でもそのような本当におかしな愛が本当にあのつまり普通じゃない愛がイエス様の愛なんです。Jesus received punishment and pain for us. イエス様は私たちのためにその罰と苦しみをあの引き受けてくれました。We were deserving of punishment. 私たちその罰に値するものでした。We are deserving of death even. 本当に死に値するものでした。But Jesus, with his selfless love, took our place. In order to do this, Jesus was really misunderstood.、Uh, he was lied about. He was even accused of being the devil himself. And he took all of this because of love. And Jesus did this so that we could have eternal life too. And He also did this so that we ourselves can be empowered to do what He did as well. And、uh, because Jesus rose from the grave, He showed that we too can have the same power. And as a believer, God empowers us to love others the way He did too. So it's a fact we can show the love that Jesus showed through our own lives. He empowers us to do this. We can't do it ourselves. Having true love and showing true love is only something God can do in our lives. Do you want to do this? Anybody want to do this? Yes? Okay. I think we all deep down want to do this. We want to show the love of Jesus through our lives. And we can do that. But the first thing we need to do is we need to die to ourselves. And this is hard for all of us. <coughs> we all have pride. We have ideas. Like、uh, Kohei had some crazy ideas. <laughs> <laughs> And he's wanting love. <laughs>、uh, we, want, we want to be loved more than we love. You know, it's kind of a natural thing. I want to be loved. But we don't feel like love is showing love sometimes. But again, this is a reminder we need God. We need God who is love. And if we have God in our hearts, Then we can show that love. Right now, I'm going to lead us in a time of prayer. If you don't know this God of love, and you want to live for Jesus, then I first want to lead us in a prayer that way. If you want to recommit your、uh, self to Jesus too, please pray with me. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. And please pray with me. Father God, I thank you for your perfect love. I thank you, Jesus, for showing that perfect love here on this earth. Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. 
、皆様、私たち、私の罪のために死んでくださったことを本当に感謝します。Please forgive me for my sins. 私の罪を許してください。I believe that you died for my sins on the cross. あなたは私の罪のために十字架で亡くなったことを死んでくださったことを信じます。And you rose again. そしてあなたを蘇られました。And now I want to follow you. そして今私はこの時点からあなたについていきたいです。I want to live for you for the rest of my life. 私の人生の残りはあなたのために行きたいです。And I thank you for the hope of eternal life. 永遠の命が与えられる希望を感謝します。And Lord Jesus, I pray that you will help all of us. May we show your love. Help us to show love to everyone. Help those that we might even feel like our enemies. 自分の敵へのあの愛を示すことができるように。Father, we don't totally understand this kind of love. このような愛は完璧に理解することはできません。So we ask that you fill us with your love. だから私たちはあなたの愛で満たしてください。Take away things out of our lives and block this love from flowing. この愛が溢れ流れるものを妨ぐものを妨ぐものをすべて。And Father, even right now, I pray for a healing of hurts in people's lives. Anything that's keeping us from loving people, please heal our God. Yes, Lord, bring healing. <coughs> bring forgiveness. And pour out your love. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.